Okay guys, just like I did a really a close up quick version for the arteries, I'm gonna do a close up really quick version for the veins, okay? A quick run through. So if you want a long explanation, view the other video, okay? Again, sorry if this is shaky. So when we look at the heart, okay, we have this um, superior vena cava that empties into the top of the right atrium, and then down here the inferior vena cava that empties into the bottom of the right atrium. Okay, our superior vena cava has two major branches, okay, the right brachiocephalic vein and the left brachiocephalic vein. Each brachiocephalic vein branches off into the in, internal jugular vein, okay, internal jugular vein going up the neck, and the subclavian vein, okay, which goes under the clavicle. The subclavian vein, once we get past the first rib here, becomes the axillary vein. Okay, off of the axillary vein, we have two major veins that go down either side of the arm. Okay, this one here comes down, and then at the elbow it goes in a little bit, and then comes down again, okay, to the thumb side of the hand. That's the cephalic vein. Okay, cephalic vein goes down the thumb side. Then over here, we have coming down the pinky side, all the way down the arm, the basilic vein. Okay, cephalic on thumb side, basilic on pinky side. And then we have this vein right here, okay, and the inner elbow. Okay, and that's an anastomosis, or a little connector between the basilic and cephalic. And this vein right here is the median cubital vein. And that's where you normally get blood drawn from in your inner elbow. So then, if we progress further down, okay, remember we have our inferior vena cava here that comes down. Right at the top of it here, we have these vessels that go over to the liver, so those are our hepatic veins. Okay, then we have these vessels that go on either side to our kidneys, so these are our renal veins. Okay, our right renal vein and our left renal vein. Okay, you also see all of these vessels that are kind of a purpley color. Okay, those are the ones that are all part of our hepatic portal circulation. Okay, and remember I said I'm gonna go through those in another video. Okay, so going down the inferior vena cava, at about the belly button, we see we have a split into the two um, common iliac veins. Okay, so our left common iliac vein and our right common iliac vein. Common iliac veins split into the internal iliac veins, right here, these little ones here and here and our external iliac veins, okay? Remember that the external iliac vein, once it goes through the abdominal wall and it enters the leg, okay? We have our great saphenous vein, the long superior vein, our long superficial vein that goes all the way down to the foot, okay? So that vein that goes all the way up the medial or inside part of the leg is the great saphenous vein. Then, off of the external iliac vein, we also have a femoral vein. Okay, so you just see the nub here. You just see where the femoral vein starts. And then it would actually come right here. Okay, and go down the back of the femur. And in the back of the knee, it would become the popliteal vein. Okay, just like on the artery side. Okay, please post your questions.